What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video where once again we are bringing Disney to your kitchen because today we are making Mickey pretzels? You're not showing our shirts. Yeah, we're wearing Mickey shirts of course. Of course. So yeah, well let's bake pretzels. So we are starting the recipe with uh, one cup and a quarter of warm water, not too hot because you don't want to kill the yeast. Then we're going to add four teaspoons of yeast in the water and then finally one teaspoon of white sugar. And then we mix until the yeast is completely dissolved into the water. So now we've put the yeast aside for about 10 minutes to give it time to rise. So now we're gonna put about five cups of all-purpose flour into a mixing bowl. To that, we add half a cup of white sugar. Just like that. And finally, one teaspoon of salt-ish. Right, Tracy? Right. Now we're gonna whisk it all together. And then you wanna make to put your white ingredients into. So when your yeast is nice and foamy, just like that, it's time to mix everything together. And finally, we add one tablespoon of vegetable oil into the mix. Tracy's hard at work. So you wanna mix it together, I use a spoon at first, and then you're just gonna start kneading it until everything is mixed. If the mixture is getting too dry, you can add about a tablespoon at a time, just to kind of help mix it together. Have water. And if you have one of those KitchenAid dough mixer, well, feel free to use that. So you need to knead it until everything's mixed up and that it separates from the edge. It's not sticking or anything like that. Next step, we're gonna put a little bit of oil and then just brush it around so it doesn't stick. Then you're gonna transfer your dough in Kind of make sure it gets covered in oil so it doesn't stick anywhere. And now we are just covering the dough and we're gonna let it sit for about an hour to two hours until it is done rising. Double in size. So now, about like an hour and a half later, it's time to flatten it out. And because we do not have a rolling pin, well, we're doing what we can here. Is it working fine, Tracy? It's working enough. Better than my hands. Now it's time to make the magic happen and create the Mickey shape. Okay, so we have some water in a pan here. I'm only gonna use about a fourth of a cup of baking soda. Just mix it all in. And then you take your Mickey pretzel. Now we're just gonna brush a little bit of melted butter on top of the pretzels. And finally, we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of coarse salt on top of them before they go to the oven. Time for the pretzel to get out of the oven and we just had a look like, I'm impressed, like they look pretty good. Can't wait to see if they taste as good as they look. Really smells like butter. Not bad at all. So that is it, whoa, that is it guys, final result. This one kind of looks like a Mickey, so I'm pretty happy with it. Like they look good, they smell good, and hopefully they're gonna taste good, so. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, 
Looks good. Cheers. That's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Maybe like we need to find the salt to stick. Yeah. It tastes better Maybe. when you have a bite of salt. Maybe put more butter on it before mm -hmm. you, you put the salt. But yeah. I use salt and butter too though. Yeah. But yeah. Very good. Overall, very good. You guys should try it out. We've made so many new things in the past little bit. That's not. We've never tried to make macaroons, pretzels. <laughs> I'm gonna link all those videos for you guys. But yeah, if you guys want to try making pretzel, highly recommend it. It's fun, it doesn't take a lot of time, and it's pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. So that is it for us today, guys. That was another great Disney recipe. Tasted really good. We highly suggest it. It's fun, easy, and it's really fast to do. We can go so. easy without a uh, dough hook. Yeah. But <laughs> it was fun. It was fun, but a little bit of hard work. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Because of the dough. <laughs> so don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see even more of those cool recipes. Uh, here's the Instagram if you want to follow us there as well. And see you guys next time.